the climate crisis disproportionately impacts women. So women are 80% more likely to be displaced by natural disaster and 14 times more likely to die in times of natural disaster. But we're also more likely to be on the front lines building back communities after these disasters hit. Um, yet we're tragically underrepresented at every single stage of the decision making process concrete ceilings and the patriarchy prevents us from having those seats at the legislation table that's not okay and we need to really realise that in order to attain climate justice we need to have gender justice and we need to be platforming those women who are at the front lines fighting back against the extractive systems and disaster systems driving the climate crisis. You always have to work I think to, to provide an inclusive organisation, set the right signals role model support, provide mentoring, set up female and women's groups so that there is sort of mutual support and mentoring, but make sure that all the voices are listened to in the room when you're chairing meetings is, just, is, is perhaps one of the most important things. Hi, I'm Larissa and I'm from Indonesia and I choose to challenge women's underrepresentation in technology. A challenged world is an alert world and with challenge comes change. I choose to challenge the current levels of women in leadership positions globally. An increase in the female representation of women in leadership will have a direct impact on the economic, social and political affairs of our world today. They need role models and that's why the Women of the Future is so important because we show them people who are changing the world and actually when they see that and they see the effects, that's when they start to the importance of their own commitment. In a way, we've got the symbolic stuff with things like food and science. We now want to address the everyday and just make sure that each and every one of us as individual managers is making sure that if there is anything inappropriate in the workplace, we call it out and we encourage the women who might be on the receiving end to call it out as well. These barriers are obviously opportunities for us to grow. I'm counting on all our men who are in positions of power to break these barriers, break these glass ceilings, uh, clean up the sticky floor. It's it's time, right? I mean, 2021, we're still talking about traditional norms that are blocking women from reaching their potential as human beings. It's mind boggling. So I'll be, I'll happy to raise one hand, two hands. Um, <laughs> yeah, two, let's choose the challenge. Together, right? <laughs> and it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, let's do it together. We can do this. We can, seriously, we can do this. We can. <laughs>